There are approximately 1,500 potentially active volcanoes on this planet, and that doesn't include those on the ocean floor. Over 800 million people live within 60 miles of an active volcano, and considering that volcanic ash is capable of traveling thousands of miles, it's probably best for us to learn a little about the danger it presents and the steps we can take to survive. The Dangers Volcanic ash is tremendously disruptive. Although we may think that falling rocks, lava, fire and hot toxic gases are a volcano's main danger, the most common cause of death from a volcano is actually suffocation. Volcanic ash clouds can contain dangerous aerosols, including carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and hydrochloric and hydrofluoric acid. These aerosols are capable of building up in the atmosphere and can affect the climate all over the world. The ash cloud can also block out the sun, thus cooling down the Earth. These aerosols can fall back down in form of precipitation, the poisonous gases reacting with the water to create acid rain. Even if the ash cloud returns to Earth in a dry state, it is still acidic and causes harmful effects on soil, forests, streams and lakes, killing crops, poisoning livestock and polluting water sources. Its corrosive power also affects telecommunications and electric infrastructure, corroding insulators and causing power outages. A volcanic ash cloud can also also contain tiny particles of quartz, cristobalite, and tridomite, which inhaled causes silicosis that results in scarring in the lungs and lung impairment. 1. Pack a go bag. Pack a few necessary things like toiletries, money, documents, ID and such like in a bag. It may seem silly and you may not even need it, but if you do have to leave, you'll be grateful for it. Number 2. Information. Get as much information as possible, watch the news, listen to the radio, check the internet. Learn all you can about the volcano's activity, the ash cloud and the weather forecast and wind directions. 3. Materials You'll need some basic materials before the ash fall event. These are dust masks, goggles or some form of eye protection, a battery powered radio, torches and batteries, plastic sheeting and duct tape. Number 4. Provisions Make sure you have the basics, enough water and basic food to last through the ash fall event. Bear in mind that there may be power outages, so make sure you have some rations that can be eaten cold or raw. And if 2020 taught us anything, toilet roll. Lots and lots and lots of toilet roll. Number 5. Protection if you have a car, make sure it's parked under cover. Any livestock or animals should be sealed in a shelter with enough food and water and any pets should be kept aside. If you have a rainwater collection system, disconnect it from your roof and seal it. Number 6. Sealing Seal your windows and doors from the outside where possible, using plastic sheeting and duct tape. Identify and seal any other possible locations where ash could enter, for example fireplace or vent pipes, and put rolled up damp towels under the doors. Number 7. More information. Stay informed about the volcano's situation, wind directions and the ash cloud's progress, and do not exit your property until the authorities deem it safe to do so. Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comments.